Now that we know how to perform some basic calculations and functions, we'll go ahead and do some practice here. So we're going to have you try it. We're going to build a new spreadsheet. We can call it more baseball stats. We're going to do a lot of the same operations as the last video. Uh, we're going to create the same column headers, the player, the at-bats, the hits, the walks, and all of those values you'll be able to enter directly. And then we're going to calculate the batting average and the on-base percentage. So you can start off by entering the following data into your sheet. Uh, we've got a few players here and we're going to go ahead and show these and then I'd advise you to pause so you can enter these eight players into your sheet. So go ahead and pause your video just so you can enter this information. Once you're done, you should calculate the following for each player. Calculate each player's batting average and I would recommend using uh, just the basic calculation hits divided by at-bats so you just have to select the right cell and I would also advise copying that instead of entering it for each individual player. Uh, also calculate the on-base percentage and remember this is just hits plus walks divided by at-bats. You need to use the parentheses because the order, it's just like a calculator, the order of operations will be followed so uh, if you just did hits plus walks divided by at-bats what you'd end up with is hits plus walks uh, divided by at bats as opposed to uh, hits and then walks divided by at bats. So uh, you need to use the parentheses to make sure that you add before you divide. Uh, once you've done that, create a few calculations for the entire team. Uh, the team total for bats, hits, and walks, you can just use the sum function. Uh, the average for at bats, hits, walks, batting average, and on base percentage, you can just use the average function for this and the minimum maximum values for at-bats, hits, walks, batting average, and on-base percentage. And you can use the min and max functions for this. So once you're all done, you should have a sheet that looks something like this. Maybe not exactly like this because the formatting for this exercise isn't that important and where you put things is not that important. But uh, you'll notice a couple of things just to kind of get you started. Once you've entered one of the, your calculations, you should be able to copy it for all of the players. And once you've entered one of the functions, you should be able to copy it across for all of the different things you need to average or sum or, min, or find the min or max. So it should be pretty easy to just calculate once and then reuse that over and over again. So thanks for watching. I hope you'll be able to perform this properly. And uh, we'll catch you in the next module.